All right, we are live. Hi everyone, I'm Dawn Loading. I'm a realtor with EXP Realty and I am the team leader for the Loading Group and have been doing this real estate thing for 20 years now and I absolutely love it. But I'm always trying to find value for the people that I help. So this year I have put together a financial freedom series where I am bringing in guests to help you, my clients, my friends, my family, whoever mm -hmm. is watching this to learn how to make your money work for you, how to make sure that you are doing what you need to, to leave your legacy for your family, everything from on a scale of one to 10 from zero to 10 on money management. So this entire year, every Wednesday at 11 o'clock central, I am doing a live and having these special guests on. So I will go ahead and introduce my good friend, Fred Cludius. Fred, thank you so much for joining me today. Don, thank you for having me. I really appreciate the invitation and I appreciate the chance to get to, to talk to your people about estate awesome. planning. Awesome. Well, I think that this is just a great place to start because, you know, we we hear about it all the time and we know that we need to do it. But a, a lot of people, the the public, they for a lot of people don't even want to deal with their bills for one thing <laughs> and then you have a lot of people who just really don't want to even uh just look at that option but let's face it we're all getting older and things happen and if we don't do it then and something happens you know we're, we're just we're not going to be have our stuff set up. So I know how important this is to you, Fred. And I really want to start out. We're going to cover three questions today, y'all, like these three questions. But this first one, Fred, I know that you used to be, well, you've been an attorney for a long time, but you used to practice a different kind of law. What actually got you into estate planning and I you know this I know you're going to talk a little bit about your story here and I want you to just really feel free to say whatever you want um but this is very personal to me and this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to have you on as a guest today and really partner with you in this so tell us tell us more sure thank you Don um and and you know I was one of those people that didn't plan uh there's always tomorrow until there wasn't. Um, uh, let me back up a little bit. I, I'm a 31 year lawyer uh, that the majority of my practice was as a personal injury litigator, uh, trial lawyer. Um, uh, and really the short story that I'll expound on here in a little bit, but it is that a, a personal tragedy and dealing with the probate issues that came from that tragedy resulted uh, in me believing that there had to be a better way for people to get estate planning services. So, um, you know, you, you, you knew Jennifer, my late wife, uh, you were good friends with her. Uh, and in 2017, um, Jennifer passed away unexpectedly. Um, ironically, before that she had been diagnosed with, a, uh, an acoustic neuroma uh, is, a a mass in her ear canal uh, and it scared the heck out of us. Uh, we started the planning process, uh, but we didn't finish because in the middle of her treatment, we found out that the mass was benign. Um, and while it may cause some hearing loss, which not insignificant, but it wasn't going to, uh, it wasn't cancerous. It wasn't going to kill her. So we thought, oh, okay, dodge that bullet. And we put the estate planning on the back shelf. And then a highway crash happened and um, we lost Jennifer and I'm sorry. Oh, uh, we lost Jennifer and my mother-in-law at the same time. Um, obviously it was a very traumatic uh, event for myself and for my children, but that trauma was multiplied. I'd say four or five, tenfold because I had to deal with issues because of a lack of planning. Um, uh, Jennifer had a, a son from a previous relationship, uh, my stepson. And because of that situation, uh, 
under Texas law, uh, her half of the community property, as well as her separate, most of her separate property, uh, went to the children. Uh, so we had to go through court processes. Um, we had to have ad litem lawyers who are lawyers that basically look over my shoulder to make sure I'm treating my kids right, which was I, I knew the reason for it objectively, but subjectively, uh, it, it felt like an intrusion. Um, you know, long story short, I spent tens of thousands of dollars, four lawyers, three years to finally get everything settled. And, and this was for a matter that wasn't contested. No one was was contesting this. Uh, there wasn't a, a challenge to anything. It was just what we had to do to get through the process because of our situation. Um, and while going through that experience, I recognized that, that people shouldn't have to go through that uh, and that there had to be a better way that, that kept people on track. So they put a plan in place and didn't do what we did. And that is procrastinate and put it off. Um, so I, I'm fortunate enough that while I loved being a courtroom lawyer, um, I felt that my experience at that point led me to be an estate planning lawyer and bring a way that um, uh, a better way to do estate planning, a way that identifies goals, incorporates education, uh, includes protection for incapacity, and passes on uh, your personal values as well as your property. Sorry, that was kind of a long answer there. Why I'm doing? No, this. that was a great answer. I I would love for you to just keep going, but you're kind of leading into our second question. And, um, you know, one of the things back to your first back to your first question, though, is how did you get started? I think it's beautiful that we are in a time and a place where you could just decide what you want to do, kind of like what your soul's telling you, what God put you here to do. And I'm fortunate that you had to go through all of those, that tragedy. And I remember it well, and it was just so tragic. And, but here you are, you're, you know, you're still, you're still here and you, you're doing something to honor her memory. And I just love what you're doing. And I'm so, so proud of you for putting this together and, and just to be able to work with you in this way. So, um, you know, so tell, so let's move on to question number two. What is estate planning? So, you know, when, when we use the word, the words estate planning, it brings up a lot of different visions in our mind. Um, but the short definition is that estate planning is it's making a plan in advance. So your property goes to who you want it to go to when you die and ensure that you are taken care of if you become incapacitated and that your minor children are raised by who you want if you die before they reach majority. Um, there's a lot more to it than that. There are a lot of different ways to accomplish any goals that people may have. Um, but that's kind of the nutshell. You know, um, when we hear estate planning, uh, it's it's a set of words that when some people hear it, they think, oh, well, that's only for the very rich. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not. It's for everyone. If you own property, then you need or have children plan. <laughs> <laughs> or have children or and if you own property, I mean, if you own jewelry, a car, furniture, uh, obviously real estate as well. Um, uh, if you own a business, uh, if, if you own any piece of property uh, of any uh, size, it doesn't matter the size, then estate planning is for you. And, and especially if you have children, um, uh, because you want to make sure that they're taken care of. Uh, if, if you die before that they they have grown up uh, and you want to make sure they're taken care of by the people that you want them to be taken care of and not by a judge that makes a decision um, uh, based on what they happen to hear in court that day. Um, yeah. So uh, it, it's a way to, to accomplish all of these things, um, uh, whether it be through a will or a trust powers of attorney, uh, assignments of, of guardians. Um, there's a, a lot of different ways that, that these goals can be accomplished. And, a lot and we're going to talk. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry Fred. We're going to talk a lot more about that because we're going to be meeting back here every month, I think through through October. We're going to stop at the holidays, but we're going to just cover a different subject, maybe a little bit of a review, but we want to dig deeper and deeper into this subject to hopefully give people an idea of why they need to get in there and get this done. So if you have questions also as we're talking, and you're a guest on here, please put them in the comments. And if you're watching the replay, you can reach out to Fred or I, either one. Um, and I'm going to give his information at the end on how, how you could go find him and get this process started. So just to kind of answer a few of those uh, questions up front. But if you have any specific questions about estate planning, please feel free to put them in the chat. We would love to answer your questions. So. I'm sorry, Fred, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 definitely. I appreciate that. You know, and a, a lot of people think of, oh, well, estate planning, uh, I, I've got a will. Uh, well, a, a will is really, um, there's nothing wrong with a will in and of itself, but it, it, it merely is a set of instructions for a judge uh, to follow. And uh, so that means your, your estate, your family, your loved ones are going to have to go to court. Um, some people, that's okay. But there are yeah. other ways to accomplish estate planning besides a will that, again, we can do a deep dive on later on uh, in yeah. the series. But definitely. I people, yeah, I just want people to understand that it's not just a will and it can be and, something other than a will. And I will tell you, being in real estate for over 20 years, I have uh, represented several sellers in probates. And we've had to jump through hoops and it tears families apart a lot of times because, you know, money is, like I said earlier, it's not a subject that a lot of people want to address and everyone thinks that they need their share. And it, it just really brings out the worst in people sometimes. So you don't want to leave that for your loved ones. We, we want to get those instructions uh, legalize so that it's just literally the instructions and the judge has to do it right because the will is really not not those instructions it's kind of like in real estate we have a purchase contract and that is the instructions to the title company to do everything they need to do but if if you have a will that's not the instructions it's not signed by all parties it's not it's not legal until it goes to the attorney to make it legal is that a very good exp explanation <laughs> uh, yeah i mean it's 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 a set of instructions for the judge but only if the judge gets them uh yeah there you that go set of instructions can be contested uh, gotcha. you, you can have people say, oh, you know what? I don't think that's what they really meant. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and, and it's a public process. Uh, it's, you know, in an open court, uh, the records are available to review for anybody that wants to be able to go in and, and review them. And I say go in, uh, nowadays, you know, you, you can even accomplish that online. Um, and that's one unfortunate thing that the process that I went through is all in open court, uh, you know several different legal proceedings, several different lawyers. Um, again, none of it contested, but it's available there for anybody that wants to take a look at it, uh, unfortunately. Right. Um, so, you know, it, it's a set of instructions, but again, and for some people, the will is exactly what they need, but it's not for everybody. Uh, and there are situations where a will is not going to accomplish some of the goals that, that people want. Uh, everybody's situation different is different, and what I really would like to do with, with my clients, what I do with my clients is educate them. You know, here are all your possibilities. Here are the pluses and minuses of each one. Uh, now, what are your goals? And let's, let's craft a plan for you that accomplishes those goals. And that's a service that you're never going to find on, uh, you know, legal zoom or, or in a set of, um, uh, documents that you bought at office depot um so can you do that yeah is it going to work for your you and your family though when they need it probably not nothing better than having an attorney one-on-one -on -one that you could ask questions to and then can help guide you 
to where you want to be? What is your goal? So, and all kinds of things in life. <laughs> so, all right. So, I mean, we kind of covered this a little bit, but what happens if I don't plan? We really did cover that. We just went to the judge and or talked about the judge. So, and we don't have any uh, questions as of right now. So if anyone has any questions, now would really be a great time. If not, then we will um, talk about moving forward. So we really wanted to keep these videos kind of short every month and really uh, kind of figure out where we're going with this. But we, we definitely want to hear from you on anything that we can cover, questions that we could answer on the next call. Um, if you just want to reach out to Fred directly, then you can find everything you need to know about him on his website, cludiuslaw.com. And uh, Fred, do you have anything that you would like to really send everyone away with? Well, I just want to real quickly address the what happens if I don't plan. Um, okay. You know, if, if you don't plan, then you're guaranteed a court process. Your family, your loved ones are guaranteed a court process because you have to go through what the law calls intestacy. It means you don't have a will, you don't have any plan. And to say you don't have a plan is not completely accurate because the state of Texas imposes a plan on you. Um, and sometimes that's not going to be what you want. Um, so unfortunately, we know that from studies that two thirds of all adults don't have an estate plan. Uh, and they're going to be subject to whatever the state of Texas or whatever the state that they're in, uh, the laws say. Uh, so that's why it's important to me. I didn't have a plan and I paid dearly. I paid probably five times what I should have if I would just done a plan uh, on it. But to, to answer your question on, you know, what can people do? You know, uh, if you go to my website, there's ways to sign up for uh, a, a newsletter. Uh, there's ways to find out more information. You can schedule a, a free 15 minute phone call with me to just talk about any questions you may have. Um, and very soon on there, we're going to have a way to register for a, uh, an event in mid-February. It won't be on Valentine's Day, but it's going to have a Valentine's type theme. If you're in New Braunfels, you may know Gourmage that's uh, in downtown New Braunfels. Uh, I am hosting an event there. Uh, on February 19th, where uh, you can get some wine, uh, you can have some cheese and chocolate pairings with the wine, uh, and, and learn a little bit about estate planning, all on me, uh, all for free, uh, but you'll have to go register, and that should be up in a couple of days, so you can go register, and, and uh, uh, there's going to be limited space, uh, and, and have an evening out with your loved one on me. Perfect. Okay, great. Um, and you know, one more thing I want to add is that I sent you a message yesterday and I got a referral for an estate attorney in Oklahoma. So if you're watching this and you're in a different uh, state, please give us, or give Fred a call or just send him an email or a message in Messenger or wherever you can connect with him. And he'll be happy to send a referral in your area. He has a referral network of um, qualified, great attorneys that can help you in your area. So I know that the one you gave me yesterday was really quick to respond. And I really, really appreciate that. So thank you. Yes, glad so, to do it. And you're right. I, I belong to a, 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 actually a couple of different networks of lawyers across the nation that uh, I entrust implicitly uh, that I can refer people to. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, Fred. I think that's about it for today. We will wrap it up and I'll see you back here next month and we'll dig a little bit deeper into something, whatever you bring us. So <laughs> We will see you then. Until then, thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoy the replay. If you're watching the replay, love to hear your comments. I'll check the recording and answer any questions that you post. So um, that's it. So everybody have a great day, great week, and happy new year. <laughs> happy new year. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.